today i'll talk about blood component preparation this is part of my series of lectures on blood banking i will cover various blood component enumeration need for component preparation equipments required for component preparation manpower required for component preparation and for each component i will describe the properties of component procedure to make component or component preparation storage of component transport of component and quality control these are various uh, commonly used blood components first of all whole blood in itself is a product then red cell is a component platelet as a component include platelet concentrate pooled platelets and apheresis platelets then fresh frozen plasma is a component plasma is also a component then cryoprecipitate is one of the component plasma products are components and rarely granulocytes are used so why do you uh, want to make a component so component is more beneficial as compared to use of whole blood so because from one unit of whole blood three or more components can be prepared so it is the way of optimal use of single unit of blood making components increases the shelf life of the blood products and more than one component from a unit benefit more than one recipient these are the various equipments required for component preparation tube sealer laminar flow refrigerated centrifuges plasma expressor electronic weighing scale double pan weighing balance either double bag or triple bag with additive solution is required and the volume of bag may be 350 ml or 450 ml this is the manpower required for india an expert working group under the aegis of nbtc in 2017 gave the following recommendations for a blood center with a workload of up to 10000 annually we require a technical supervisor one in number two blood center technicians and one lab attendant or housekeeping staff this staff is in addition to the staff recommended for other activities of blood bank now let us see uh, whole blood so the blood unit must be discarded if it has been out of the refrigerator for longer than 30 minutes or if the seal is broken or if there is any sign that the pack has been opened or if there is any sign of hemolysis so storage and transport of whole blood is similar to that of red cells which i describe next so red cells also known as packed red cells is a component of whole blood so we take whole blood and centrifuge at 4 degree centigrade at 3600 rpm for 10 minutes so this is a heavy spin it directly separate the whole blood into two parts that is packed red cells with 50 to 60 ml plasma or additive and ffp or plasma if the whole blood is processed within 6 hours of collection then we get ffp otherwise we get plasma and ffp and plasma is stored at below minus 30 degree centigrade whereas packed red cells or red cells are stored at 
four degree centigrade. So this is about vibration of packed red cells. So whole blood and red cells or packed red cells must always be stored at a temperature between two and six degrees centigrade. If blood is not stored between two and six degrees centigrade, its oxygen carrying ability is greatly reduced. These are the self lives of whole blood or packed red cells or red cells. If they are stored at between 2 degrees centigrade and 6 degrees centigrade, a whole blood or red cells with CPD anticoagulant has a self life of 21 days. That with CPDA1 anticoagulant has a self life of 35 days and that with an additive solution of, for example, SAGN has a, day, a self life of 42 days. The temperature of whole blood and red cell component must be kept at 2 to 10 degrees centigrade during transport. Transport of pre-processed blood at 20 to 24 degrees centigrade has a self life of less than 6 hours and transport of processed blood between 2 degrees centigrade and 10 degrees centigrade has a self life of 24 hours. So this is about transport of whole blood or red cells. Now quality check of whole blood and red cells. So whole blood volume is 350 or 450 ml depending on the bag and the variation allowed is 10%. And uh, bag uh, cell volume or hematocrit should be more than 30% and the bag should be sterile. Then this is about red cells or packed red cells. Volume is 250 ml plus minus 10% plus 100 ml of additive solution like SAGN and hematocrit should be at least 65%. These are quality checks for red cell for intrauterine transfusion and red cells for exchange transfusion. The next component I will discuss is platelet concentrate. This is a procedure for prepare, preparation of platelet concentrate. This method which I describe is known as PRP method or platelet rich plasma method. Here, first of all, we centrifuge the whole blood, which is kept at 22 degrees centigrade. We centrifuge it at 22 degrees centigrade at 1300 RPM for eight minutes. So this is soft spin. It will separate the packed red cells which are left with 50 to 60 ml plasma or additive and platelet-rich plasma. This platelet-rich plasma is again centrifuged at 22 degrees centigrade at 3460 RPM for 10 minutes. So this is heavy spin. It will separate the PRP into breast frozen plasma or plasma and platelet concentrate. So platelet concentrate is left with 50 to 60 ml plasma and it is stored at 22 degrees centigrade. So platelet rich plasma or platelet concentrate must be separated from whole blood by centrifugation within six hours of collection. This is important. Whole blood should be kept at between 20 and 24 degrees centigrade until it is processed into platelet concentrate and other blood components. Then platelet concentrate should be stored at a temperature of between 20 and 24 degrees centigrade with continuous gentle agitation. This agitation is essential to prevent platelet aggregation which result in loss of viability. Platelet concentrate has a self life of storage up to 5 days. If they are kept at 22 plus minus 2 degrees centigrade with continuous gentle agitation. After issue, before transfusion, it has a self life of 30 minutes. Open system and or poor platelet prepared in open system has a self life of only four hours. Whereas poor platelets prepared in closed system has a self life of five days, which is usual for platelets. 
So transport, every effort must be made to ensure that platelets are maintained at temperature between 20 and 24 degrees centigrade during shipment. So this is about quality check of platelet concentrate. Volume is 50 to 70 ml and platelet count should be more than 3.5 into 10 days to the power 10 platelets per unit or more than 4.5 into 10 days to the power 10 platelets per unit. And the pH should be more than 6 and RBC contamination should be less than half ml. This is about platelet concentrate random donor Buffy port method. And the previous one was PRP method, which I have just described. This is the quality check of pool platelets. This is the quality check of platelets suspended in platelet additive solution. This is the quality check of apheresis platelets. And this is the quality check of apheresis platelets pediatric. Now the next component I'll describe is fresh frozen plasma. It is prepared by one of the two methods which I have already described. One is the heavy spin method. The other is PRP method or plated risk plasma method. So both these methods I have already described in my present lecture. So fresh frozen plasma is a plasma which is separated from a unit of whole blood within six hours of collection and has been rapidly frozen and maintained at all times at a temperature of minus 30 degrees centigrade or lower. However, once thawed, it has a shelf life of only 24 hours at 1 degree to 6 degrees centigrade. And fresh frozen plasma at minus 30 degrees centigrade or below has a shelf life of 1 hour. Similarly, cryoprecipitate, if stored at below minus 30 degrees centigrade has a shelf life of 1 hour. So FFP and cryoprecipitate are thawed at between 30 and 37 degrees centigrade in the blood bank before issue and transported to the ward at ambient temperature. They must be used immediately and should not be refrozen. This is about quality check of fresh frozen plasma. The volume is 180 to 220 ml for a 350 ml bag. And it has a stable coagulation factor as checked by PT and APTT test. And the factor 8 level should be at least 70 international units per bag. And fibrinogen should be between 200 to 400 milligram. This is the quality check for prior precipitate. This is the quality check of single donor plasma. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.